Maybe put Hitchcock's head on top like an angel. Hmm, like that? No, put it behind the tree. Thanks for helping me make this card. You're so good at this stuff. <laughs> I know, I'm good at everything. All right, so here's all the pictures of Rosa that we have. Which one should we use? Ugh, she never smiles. Is her mouth broken? Well, what about if we flip those lips? Oh, Ooh, God. That's horrifying. We have to get a picture of Rosa smiling. Holt's card has to be perfect. Guys, I got this. I can make Rosa smile. Just keep your cameras ready. Making coffee? Can you make another cup for Senor Tickle and his nueve amigos? Tickle, tickle, tickle. What the hell, Hitchcock? No! Ow, 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 ow. I, I think you sprained Senor Tickle. Next time, I break it off. <laughs> Why do you think you're gonna hire that B.I.? To mock us? She's scared. She's not scared. With all due respect, sir, Gina has no feelings. She once said the best comedy of all time was the girl with the dragon tattoo. Well, think about how she's been acting. Gina came by my house last night. Do I buy an Uzi? I asked for a police officer to escort me to work, and it took a while for dispatch to find me a young Kevin Costner type. Her home doesn't feel safe anymore. If someone broke into your apartment and you weren't cops, wouldn't you be scared? Yes. Depends. How many guns do I still have hidden? None. Do I still have my knife? Nunchucks? Axe? It was a hypothetical question. I know, but I want to play it out. Do I still have my throwing stars? This has taken a strange turn. Fine. I'd be scared. We're on it. What kind of woman doesn't have an axe? There she is. Oh. Diaz, you did it. They found him guilty on all charges. Huh. Well, his advice worked. <laughs> so, where is your happy place? I'm in a cabin in the middle of nowhere. Inside, it's just me and that stupid, slimy defense attorney. And I'm eating the hell out of him. I break a dining room table over his head. Then I rip off his arm and shove it where the sun don't shine. Then I reach down his throat and shake his hand. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and schedule you for a psyche vow. I owe you one, Boyle. Thank you, dinner. Tomorrow night. Gribaldi's. It's all you can eat, Linguini. <sighs> yes! Oh, my boyfriend's coming too. Your what friend now? Oh, Fievel goes west? Yes, sir. Love that little mouse. His journey, the story of America. I could not agree more. Fievel? Papa. Fievel? Papa! Fievel! Papa! Fievel! Can I have one? Hey! Because I'm not. His mom put this stupid braid in my hair. Oh, it looks beautiful. Yeah, it's kind of cute. Please have my children. All right, everyone's here. Today we're going to work on our courtroom demeanor. Pass. The seminar is not optional, Diaz. You're testifying in an aggravated assault case tomorrow. The DA is worried about how you present yourself on the stand. Why? I'm fine on the stand. Look, I'll make this real simple so even these dum-dums can understand. Man did crime. I'm sorry, can you make her stop doing that weird thing with her face? Crime? And when this is over, I'm gonna find you and I'm gonna break those little fingers. Miss Diaz, please stop threatening the stenographer. This is an important case. You need to do well. Fine, I'll take your dumbass seminar. That's the spirit. You wanted to see me, sir? I understand you stopped by the patrol officer's morning briefing. Yeah. Officer Deepmore helped me out with my crime scene, so I gave him a little thank you present. Hey, Deepmore. If you're gonna bag evidence like a five-year-old, you should have the proper tools. It's in my first police kit. The walkie-talkie blows bubbles. Hope you can handle it. <laughs> he mislabeled the weapon like an idiot and it almost got filed with the wrong case. He could have blown months of work. You humiliated Officer Deedmore in front of his peers. He submitted an official complaint against you. Did he fill it out in crayon? No, but he did use a green pen, which seems crazy to me. The good news is, if you go down there and apologize, he'll let the whole thing go. Fine. I'm great at apologizing. I'm a very sweet person. Out of my way, chunk. Ooh! Captain, thank you for joining us. What's going on? A proper birthday dinner. Amy chose the restaurant. Captain. Oh, perfect. I've always wanted to come here. 
Boyle picked the menu. Vivian helped. Terry chose the champagne. I'm sorry about your party, sir. I tried to keep them in line, but I failed. Well, that's not your job. I'm only sorry you didn't get a chance to enjoy yourself. Gina has brought back all the silverware that she stole from your house. What? Also this clock. <coughs> Good heavens. This isn't ours. And my contribution will be to refrain from discussing The New Yorker for the rest of my living days. Enjoy. Hey there, beautiful. Marcus, what are you doing here? Well, I know you lost your phone charger, so I got you a new one. Yeah, I want to make sure your phone's all juiced up for some sweet long distance texting. Thanks. What do I owe you? It's a gift. All you got to say is thank you. I said thank you. That was the first thing I said. Sorry. You're nice. I'll text you. Can't wait. Inappropriate work, kids. Too fast. Can't stop me. Rosa D knocking down with her boo on the street. I love it. Say boo again, I will shoot you in the stomach. Fine. Love a boy it is. What did I just say, you Charles? Said, what did I just you say? You said not to say it. All right. Who's up first? Party number one will be brought to you by Gina Linetti and Good Times. Where exactly are these good times? Because so far, the first six seconds of your party are a big old snooze. Tonight, we will be attending my nephew Anthony's 13th birthday party. Sounds awful. Teenage boys are the worst. But shooting them with paintballs in the behind is the best. Which is what we're gonna do. It's a paintball party. Nice. Let's go shoot my nephew. Gina, do you have any idea what you're getting into? We play in a league. A league. Ow! Oops. You're all gonna die! Unleash hell. Well, 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 guess I nailed it. Pressure's on, guys. Good. Pressure's my jam. Ow. I'm engaged! Ah! Party round two, the quiz. Winner gets a question mark crown. So cool. Um, I'll take lonely arts and crafts for 800. First of all, I've made many friends through arts and crafts. And how many of them are googly eyes? And secondly, it's a drinking game. Get a question wrong, do a shot. Oh, and the questions, they're all about Rosa. But none of us know anything about Rosa. Everyone's about to get real hammered. What is my favorite soup? Chicken noodle. Potato leek. Corn frickin' noodle. God, I mean chowder, damn it. You're all wrong, I've never had soup. Don't bother, they all suck. Drink. Battle axe. Uppercut. Disembowelment. Guys, I was a baby. My first word was dada. Drink. Ah. Ah. Wrong. I can totally do a handstand. Ah. Oh. Oh. Told ya. Good luck following this party, ya bish. All right, well, you're up. Where are we going? A restaurant. Specifically, the petite colon. It means small intestine. Because that's all they serve. Oh man, I was rooting for you. Ah. I don't think I can eat that. Neither can anyone else, which is why they shut it down. We are not eating at this restaurant. We are demolishing it. Damn! Boyle's win to win! Yeah! Madam, may I offer you the first whack? I've been dreaming about this since I was a little girl. No! <laughs> Guys, love is beautiful. Drug running, kidnapping, murder. Those are the best crimes. Why would you quash them? Time for waiting is over. Now is the time for groin stomping. Damn right it is. Let's go arrest that punk. <gasps> he says punk just like you. What do you think he learned it? Punk. <laughs> <laughs>